Switch guns. Oh! That was a bad time, you asshole! You know, I think we actually use these guys and we throw them back at Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here. Welcome back to Dead Space. Yes, we are continuing our playthrough. It's not Halloween any longer, but we just had Day of the Dead, and this game is great. It really fits and is a lot of fun, so I would like to continue to rock this. So, anywho's. <sighs> yes. This is the week when uh, Fallout 4 comes out, too. Actually, that's right. Yeah. Ooh, are you guys excited? Let's, uh, let's get spooked while we wait for that. Uh, let's see. What are we doing now, first of all? Do I have lots of things to sell? Lots of things that I'm proud of? I have lots of things to sell. Holy crap. Man, it's amazing how, like, upgrading your guns also adds a real long-term benefit to ammunition, because it takes less ammunition to do anything. Alright, uh, how about we move that guy to the safe move. We will sell that guy. Yes, I'm sure I'm going to sell the Ruby Semiconductor. I don't need the medium air pan. Uh, we can move that. And we're going to sell you. I'm always a big believer in that you want to have a, exactly one giant magazine full of whatever you have left. Look at how high we leveled these up. Wow, wow, wow. Any, any new suits? Nope, no new suits. Darn it. I want a new suit. Oh, you know what? We'll buy another power node. We'll buy two. Yeah, I'm feeling crazy! And I think that should be enough, and then we can start even like doing other suit upgrades too. That'll be pretty legit. So do you guys remember, last time we were being chased away by this non-dying creature. Um, I don't really know how else to describe the dude, but he couldn't die. Like, that was his thing. Um, hi -oh. A little dark. Oh, good. That's where this happened? Snikes. Man, it is very dark now. I don't like it. I... I'm actually feeling very jumpy. So I'm gonna... Hey! It's you! Your persistence surprises me. Holding on to your final breath, you claw your way along. You hold on to what was once your war, but now it belongs to the children. Be glad of the knowledge that your death will bring their You know, it's not normal to have an Indian guy as your enemy. Listen, can you hear it? It's coming. Oh, look at the shadow on his head. Say your prayers. Does this hurt your eyes? Bye! <laughs> that was a little bit... <laughs> not very lifelike of a left turn there, big guy. It's like he just learned how to do it. It's time. Give... Give them... Give them strength. They'll last a bit longer. We are so fucked. Hey, it's okay to be fucked. <laughs> this, this, this. Me! Help me, help me, help me! Oh, wow, that's interesting. Alright, well, carry on then. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, good. Man, it's... So, you know, a lot of times retrudging areas in games can be a real... Wait, 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 this is the immortal one. What do we do with the mortal ones? Well, at least the mortal ones I know what to do. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, he's back! Where's that coming from? Hey, child! Okay, I, I gotta figure out what to do. How many are there? Alright, we still got the immortal one. We got we got immortal. How dead are you? You're dead, okay. Someone keeps shutting down the door protocol. I bypassed the lock. Go! Where is go? That's go? 
Oh, it's behind me. Good. Give it a run around. Ah, ah, ah. Oh god, having immortal enemies is frightening. Okay. Oh, I hear it getting back. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Credits? Is anything cool in here? Two cool things. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme! Ah! Get that! You know what? That'll do just fine. Uh, how do I heal again? There we go. Okay, he's in the way. You know what? I can stomp on you! Guns. So if you wanted to see how I die, it is really violent. Whoa. Wow. That was a dark way to go. Jeez. Alright, that sucked. He physically just got in my way. Ugh. Alright, try two. All right, so this time, I'm not gonna fiddle with any of the ammunition. I'm just gonna... All right, they're here. I know, I know, you're all here. You're all here to give me big hugs. God, having an immortal enemy, what a great idea. I mean, the, the thing is, is like... Oh, okay, that was the floor one. Whoop. I can't even see! Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Man. All right, advice to anyone playing this game themselves at a later date. Jesus Christ! There is real advantage to staying in one spot and clearing out the dudes around you. Reason being that they all take time to get to you, right? They move slowly and with purpose. The gun being out does slow you down, but it's an important process to ensure that you're able to take out your targets. Someone keeps shutting down the door protocol. I bypass the lock. Go! No reason to stay. You just die if you stay. Open the door, get some more healing, take that, we're now out of health. Just, just be very honest and clear, we are out of health. Now is a great time to use this! Ugh. I can hear it, still hear it over there. Credits, credits. Whatever that was. And some health. All right, well now we got some health. What is some health though? What did I get, Ripper Blades? Cool. Okay, um. Well, crap. What's this? Money, nice. Man, you can hear the gross thing over there. How are we doing in our ammunition department? All right, definitely switching to, uh, oh, God, dropping everything. Definitely switching to the um, plasma cutter right now. Plenty of ammunition on that guy. Wait. Wait, you want what? Oh, okay. Apparently it's a Oh good! Alright, where's an explosion thingy? You're not very dead. You're alive! Holy crap. Alright, how do we destroy this thing? I wasn't able to kill it last time. Um, excuse me, ma'am? You wouldn't happen to have any explosives, would you? Mind if I borrow this? 
You know what? I'll just leave it. Okay. Um. Oh! Oh, oh look, fire thing. Perfect. You know, I think we actually use these guys and we throw them back at them. As evidenced by that, that's how we win. We throw the thingy back at them. They're explosives. I am completely confused. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm out of health again though, so let's keep that in mind. <laughs> I can't go back the other way. Do I just like chuck things at it? Maybe I can just walk through. This episode has been very problematic. Well, there wasn't a lot in there, so I'm not going to grab that. Um, we're just going to have to find healing somewhere else, I guess. So This can't be the only way to kill those gross thingies. There's got to be more ways to kill them. Man, this has been a toughie, huh? Alright. Hello, Mr. Gross Guy. Alright. Nice, semiconductor. Hmm. Yeah, I, there's gotta be another way to kill those guys besides just blowing them up. Anyway, um, let's go back to Creepy Lady. There's, there's some money and stuff over here. Alright. See, there's an interesting thing. Like, should I kill her? To, like, just put her out of her misery? Or should I try to keep everybody alive? Like, it's a tough question. Like, what would one do in this situation, truly? Second, how is she alive? We went through here before. This woman slit her throat. We remember her. That was gross and scary. Um... Sounded like something turned on. Anyway, we're gonna take this opportunity to save. So I believe some crazy shit's about to go down. So, uh, that bottom, that very bottom save, that's, uh, that's for, you know. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Whoa. All right, so we have some goop in a jar. We have a head in a jar. We got some air cans, a lot of air cans. So did you guys notice all the um, the like the grab air things on the way here? You're probably gonna suck all the air out and have to go running around and fighting dudes without oxygen. Claws and shit. Personal log, Dr. Chalice Mercer. The specimen continues to respond well to my experiments. Its cellular fortitude, not to mention elasticity, is remarkable. Dr. Kine, I'm sure, would disapprove. But I do not anticipate that issue as the good doctor is busying himself with the marker. As if that matters now. He has also succumbed to the same dementia that afflicted the colony. Only yesterday he told me he had spoken to his wife. But Amelia Kine has been dead for some years. <laughs> My subject grows restless. Patience. Your time is soon. Very you think that soon. maybe this was taken super recently? That, like, this room and stuff? This is clearly where he was safe. Jeez, but did he die shit in here too? I don't know. Uh, one thing that is for certain. If the marker is truly making people go insane and makes them talking to the dead, 
Um, Nicole's probably dead, and we're probably going insane. Got it. Good. That's it, Isaac. Now you just need to. This has gone far enough. Hey, I Except get now. part in the God's plan. Embrace your own extinction. Life support system failure on medical. Who the hell was Please that? Evacuate immediately. Isaac, he's decompressed the entire deck, and I'm being locked out of those systems. All the air has been vented into space. You should be able to bring it back online from the security station, but you don't have much time. Because I'll die. I'm aware. Whoop, she died. <laughs> Quick tap. I don't know, it's... I guess it would save some oxygen time. Oh! That was a bad time, you assholes! Three deaths this episode. That's more than I've had the entire game. All right, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna rock it. Wait. Oh, I haven't hit the final mixing yet. Okay. I was so ready to get going. All right, hit the button. Got it. Here we go. Here we go. That's it, Isaac. Now you just need to- This has gone far enough. Accept your part of the plan. Here they come! Embrace your own- What about this? Life support system failure on that- What the hell was that? He's Isaac, he's decompressed the entire deck, and I'm being locked out of those systems. Oh, All that's a really cool change. Space. You should be able to bring it back online from the security station, but you don't have much time. All right, now it really makes sense to use this. God, that was a well-laid trap. You can see how like powerful everything is now. I just like a couple bad positions and you are dead, which is great. That's a really good way to play. Like, cause it's also like good positions and you survive longer than everyone else. Oh good, the thing that's immortal is now here. Maybe that's his one weakness? No! No! No, it's not! Woo! Oh, fuck me. Get rid of the legs. Welcome back, Emor. That's that's short for immortal. Emor. Okay, um, we got an oxygen thing here. Very good. Okay, we'll pick up that, very good, all right. Good, time to just leave. Holy shit, Shibinima, why? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Stop being things. Still no air? Where am I supposed to go? In here? Got it! You've got everything you need to make the poison. I've died now three times! Lab. What are you going to do? Do it fast! Get out of your breathing! You're cutting out, Hammond. I'm gonna try to switch over. <sighs> Shit! I lost the signal. I'll continue scanning for his location. You have to get that compound mixed. There's something alive in here. Not to quote Star Wars or anything. All right, dudes, I think now's a good time to save and uh, we'll end the episode here. Holy crap. God, that went insane. Oh, we now have the crazy dude. So it's it's interesting to see an Indian evil guy. Normally you don't see that. I found that kind of interesting. I'm like, oh, I don't want, I want to call it progressive per se, but, um, yeah, you just don't see it necessarily. Anyway, oh man, and then also the re it, like that dude thinks that 
the marker doesn't matter anymore, which is kind of a weird thought. Like, the marker is what everybody's imagining get this dementia. But this guy doesn't seem to have the dementia. He just seems to be a crazy dude who's like, I'm making the perfect creature. But he might even be a bad guy, according to the, the marker and the necromorphs, because he's not under their dementia. He's under his own crazy thing, but not theirs. Anyway, so if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. You want to see more, subscribe. You got any ideas, let me know down below. I'd love to hear them. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back and the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. See you later, dudes. Bye.